hallelujah precious one what a blessing what a day it is isaiah 64 verse 8 says but now oh lord you are our father we are the clay and you are the potter we all are the work of your hand hallelujah we are the safest hand welcome to faith travel let's pray father we thank you you are our father you are molding us to be who you have you have purpose for us to be and we are so grateful amen hallelujah my theme today is do you qualify do you qualify you know um when we as human beings we have the opportunity to do things and opportunities come our way usually we find ourselves more interested in building ourselves isn't it we are more interested in who we can become what we can gain uh, what is the need for us hardly hardly do we ever think what is the next person benefiting for it we are always concentrating on what we are getting but you know for you to truly live for you to truly live is when you are able to not just live for yourself but live for other people let's see what the word of god has for us and our anchor scripture for today which is in second chronicles from chapter one uh, from verse one to twelve but we'll be just we'll be reading just verse seven to twelve of second chronicles chapter one let's hear the word of god In that night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask what I shall give you. And Solomon said to God, You have shown great and steadfast love to David my father, and have made me king in his place. O oh Lord God, let your word to David my father be now fulfilled, for you have given me king over a people as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me now wisdom and knowledge to go out and come in before this people. For who can govern this people of yours, which is so great? God answered Solomon, Because this was in your heart, and you have not asked for of possessions, wealth, honor, or the life of those who hate you, and have not even asked for long life, but have asked for wisdom and knowledge for yourself, that you may govern my people, over whom I have made you king. Wisdom and knowledge are granted to you. I will also give you riches, possessions, and honor, such as none of the kings had who were before you, and none after you shall have the life. Hallelujah. What a God that we serve. Solomon had a blank check. God asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And Solomon said, God grant me the ability to be a blessing to these people. And God said, because you've not asked for riches, you have not asked for possession, you have not asked for honor, you've not even asked for the life of those who hate you. Solomon, I am going to grant you all this. What a God that we serve. What does it tell you? Key things we need to do if we must qualify for greatness. Number one, we must love God. Number two, we must have a heart for other people. Hallelujah. Number three, we must intentionally live for others. And number four, we must live a life of giving. We must give. That is the life that Solomon lived. He loved God. He lived for other people. He was purposeful and intentional in loving and living for others. And he was a giver. This will cause you to qualify for greatness in the eyes of God within this scripture that we just studied. Hallelujah. Now, question for the week. Between fame and greatness, which is better and which do you desire? Wow. Between fame and greatness, which is better and which do you desire? Action point. In order of importance, Please state how you will go about finding relevance in the eyes of God. In order of importance, how would you go about finding relevance in the eyes of God? Fame is good, riches are good, but something is better. How would you find relevance in the eyes of God? Hallelujah. Our Bible reading for the week is in day one. We are reading 
First Kings chapter 3, 1 to 15, and First Peter 2, verse 9. Day 2, Psalm 139, 13 to 14, and Jeremiah 29, 11. Day 3, Ephesians 2, 10, and Leviticus 2, Leviticus 26, 3 to 5. Day 4, Deuteronomy 2, 7, and Deuteronomy 8, 18. Day 5, 1 Samuel 2, 7, and Psalm 102, verse 3. Day 6, Ecclesiastes 5, 19, and 2 Chronicles 9, 6. Day 7, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 7, and Daniel 4, and stress. Shall we pray? Excellent Lord, we ask that you guide us in true humility that will find true relevance in your eyes. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for this short session. I trust you've been blessed. Take your time to go through the scriptures and invite them. And please don't forget to share and let others be blessed. I want to hear from you, how you've been blessed. And I trust God to uh, be a blessing to you as well. God bless you and see you next week. Amen. Reverend Julia is a counselor, children's church minister, conference speaker, and a teacher of God's word, grace with a healing anointing. For bookings and updates on her messages, devotionals, and related events, please call 055-081-2255 or 020-77-58227 or send an email at rev.juliaoji at gmail.com. Like and follow her social media handles on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Rev Julia Oji. So she comes your way again with another session of the Faith Cradle. Stay strong and favored. God bless you. Connect with Apostle Freddie and Julia Oji for a heavenly experience of glory with a host of other believers at the Miracle Revival Chapel International. Friend, join any of our services on the days on your screen. A divine encounter awaits you. God bless you.